Thanks for checking out this show review video. Uh, let's get into Castle Rock. I just finished this show. It is a 10 episode series. Each episode's about about 60 minutes on uh, Hulu, and it was exclusive exclusively sorry exclusively done for Hulu. Hulu has a lot of shows on it that were on regular channels on TV, and then they go to Hulu, but this one was one specifically made for Hulu, and I was very excited when it was originally announced because they said that it was going to be based on Stephen King short stories, kind of like some of the characters and places involved uh, with a bunch of his short stories. So since that is the case, he's an executive producer on this, Stephen King. And uh, overall, I would say I did enjoy this. I think it is good. Um, a few small problems with it, in my opinion. But overall, it it seems like, I don't really want to use this term, but because it's kind of like a hot button issue within the horror genre. And I kind of hate the term, but it seems like it's kind of like a highbrow horror where it's kind of um, more deep writing to it. It's not very at the surface, there's a lot more. You have to really stick to it, you have to really pay attention to it because it can get kind of confusing if you're really not paying attention. It's kind of an intricate story, uh, which is a good thing, but um, yeah, for that reason, you have to take it very seriously when you sit down and watch it. So just know that going into this, if you're watching this review and you haven't watched it yet. Um, so the acting is very good in this, as you would expect for something that has uh, Stephen King's name on it. I don't think there have, there have really been that many things that Stephen King has done, or, well, this derived from any of Stephen King's work that hasn't had really good acting put into it. Bill Skarsgård is in this, and like I said, like all the acting's good, but I feel like Bill Skarsgård stands out, as he does with a lot of things that, he, that he's in. And uh, one of the greatest things about it is he's, he's so does the character and it's not just like from a line delivery standpoint it's every aspect of it and in this show he holds like a certain posture throughout the the show for that character and it's kind of like a when he's standing like one shoulder is kind of higher than the other shoulder always and he's kind of like slumped down and it really adds to the character that's something i kind of noticed in the last episode in the 10th episode of the series i was just like oh yeah he's really carrying this certain posture and he has it like the whole time it really adds to that character it really conveys um kind of a persona for him so i i just think that bill skarsgård stands out even though this is there is such a good cast in this and everyone does an outstanding job. I mean, it looks awesome, the show. It's directed very well. Like, from a technical standpoint, it is outstandingly executed. Uh, my only real issues are a few things. One, we're into this situation where, and, and I've talked about this before, where, like, streaming services feel like they have to hold to a certain number of episodes for a show or a certain length of the episode. And that's... I think I've railed most in my personal life uh, against that with, like, the Marvel TV shows done by Netflix. Like, they'd be like, every one of these has to be 13 episodes, and every episode has to be about an hour. Whereas, it should be based on what story do you have to tell. How long does it take to tell that story? And just tell the story as it needs to be done. Cut cut a lot of the fat out, please. Um, and I think that Castle Rock kind of has this issue where... They went into it and they're like, we have to do 10 episodes and each episode has to basically be 60 minutes. And it feel you like you can feel that they were writing to the number of episodes and the runtime for each episode. And that hinders the, sh the show, I think, because the problem is it's so slow. It is crazy slow because of that. And I think it would have been way more appropriate if they would have gone through and just cut it down a lot to make it a significant, significantly, sorry, significantly more tight show. And it would have been phenomenal if they would have been able to do that. Because, I mean, I mean, maybe it should have only been like eight episodes or maybe even nine episodes or something like that. But if you watch the show, you'll see what I mean. It feels like they really stretched a bunch of stuff out that they didn't need to. But that said, if you do stick with the whole thing, the story is really good and there is a really good payoff at the end. I feel like they do an excellent job of maintaining mystery throughout the series. Um, well, throughout the season. I know they are signed up for a season two. They got renewed for a season two. So it'd be very interesting to see where they go from there. And they did kind of leave it where in the end you 
could stay with it and and do you know continue that same story so that's good but um yeah it kind of it maintains mystery throughout which is really nice and uh, episodes 9 and 10 are where the really big payoffs are, although they give you little bits and pieces throughout. So that, I mean, that is good. But like I said, it's just like kind of stretched out. So sometimes you get a little bit bored, to be honest, and you really need to pay attention to so you don't get confused with what's going on. And that's kind of a problem where you really need to pay attention, but it's also getting kind of boring because they're really drawing some things out. And it's like, uh, it's hard to fight that. So, but yeah. Um, the other problem I have with this is the fact that and for plenty of people, I'm sure this is not a problem whatsoever. This is a personal thing. Obviously, this whole review is a personal thing. Every review I do on my channel is totally personal. Um, but uh, there's a lot of biblical tie-in with the story and a lot of biblical references. And I'm not, I'm personally not a religious person at all. I have, I actually consider myself agnostic. I have no religion whatsoever. So, um for me, it's it's something where I, I just kind of like roll my eyes when I when I see this type of stuff come up, just because it doesn't really speak to me. But like I said, you know, maybe some people out there have watched Castle Rock and they particularly like it for that reason because it has that b biblical tie-in. I know that really works for some people. For me, it really doesn't. And the other thing is, even stepping back from the fact of whatever my you know religious views are, um, I just feel like it's it's overdone. There's a lot of biblical references in horror, and I just feel like when you do it, it's so well-trodden. It's been done so many times that I kind of feel like it's a crutch at this point that people use in these stories. I would have I would have liked them to distance themselves from, from a, a taking an angle like that because the ultimate story that was told could be done without all that biblical tie-in. I mean, it definitely could. So the fact that they chose to go with the biblical tie-in, they didn't need to. And I feel like it's just, you know, like I said, it's an overdone thing. It's so well trodden. And I think if they would have stepped away from that, they would have stood out as being a show that was even more unique than it already is. And it is pretty unique, to be honest, because the story is the story is good. It is good. And like I said, for the most part, it's it's definitely well, well executed. So... Um, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about Castle Rock. I would definitely recommend checking it out, especially if you, you know, watch my review and it sounds decent to you. Um, but like I said, you just, you got to pay attention. You really got to pay attention. Uh, but it, and at times it kind of feels like a fight because they really stretch that out and 10 episodes, it didn't need to be 10 episodes, but you know, but it's good. It's, it's really good. It looks good. It, it plays out well. And there is definite payoff at the end, and I am interested to see what season two will be. So uh, overall, if I'm giving it a star rating out of five stars with half stars in play, I would give it a four. I think it's I, I think there's a lot of accomplishment in this show, and um, yeah, I hope it carries through to season two. But anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Uh, please hit that subscribe if you see anything in this video or in any of my videos that you like. Really does me uh, a lot of help. Doesn't make sense. It helps me out a lot if you hit that subscribe. Literally takes you a second. Can mean a lot for me. Uh, hit the notification bell so you know anytime I'm putting up a video. Check that out. Uh, put some comments down there. Have you watched Castle Rock? Are you on the fence? Are you going to do it now that you saw this review video? I don't know. Let's talk about it. Also, what other shows are you watching that are, well, not necessarily, I was going to say that are horror related, but any shows that you would really recommend to me, go ahead and put them down there. And then you can give me some likes if you want to. Don't really matter that much. I'd rather have the subscribes. But at any rate, thank you so much for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.